Good evening. A philanthropist, public servant, business leader, and the man who kept the bucks in Milwaukee. Herb Cole lived a full life. The former U.S. Senator and basketball team owner died this afternoon after a short illness. He was 88 years old. TMJ4's Megan Lee is live downtown along a street that bears his name. She leads our coverage tonight with reflection from community leaders and those who knew him best. Megan. Ryan, I'm here on Herb Cole Way, right in front of Pfizer Forum, where the Bucks play. And I think it's safe to say that Pfizer Forum would not be here without Senator Cole, a man who dedicated his life to Milwaukee in the state of Wisconsin. In the life of Herb Cole, everybody was equal, everybody had value, and everybody served a purpose for the betterment of us all. Frank Gimble and Senator Herb Cole both grew up near Sherman Park in Milwaukee. They have been friends since they were young boys. I was uh, very happy and proud to be a friend of Herb Cole's. The word of Senator Cole's passing brought much sadness to Frank. However, wonderful memories arose as well. He was a person who contributed so very, very much to Greater Milwaukee, to the state of Wisconsin and to the nation in so many different kinds of ways. He leaves behind a legacy filled with milestones as founder of the Kohl's department stores chain. He contributed to the uh, uh, expansion of retail in Milwaukee. He served as a U.S. Senator for 24 years, starting in 1988. In his initial campaign that he said he was nobody senator but yours. Nobody, Senator, but yours, you know, and I think he really meant that. He is greatly known as an owner of the Milwaukee Bucks. He bought the Bucks so that uh, that professional team would not leave Milwaukee. He bought the team in 1985 and promised fans the team would never leave. One of his best friends and former MLB commissioner, Bud Selig, said on a phone call that his dedication was unmatched. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody devote themselves more to the welfare of the city and the state than Herb Cole did. And the proof, every time they go to a Bucks game, he's the reason you're there. This franchise stays here, grows here, and wins championships here. Many that know Senator Cole said he was modest with all of his achievements. Uh, I, I will always remember for the rest of my life the humility that Herb Cole had uh, and the generosity that he had without expectation of any kind of recognition or reward. He was a true philanthropist. His foundation, the Herb Cole Foundation, which has provided more than $34 million in grants and scholarships to Wisconsin students, teachers, and schools. Herb is a person who had a heart and eyes for common people who struggled every day to make life a better place, not only for themselves, but for anybody with whom they interacted. Mayor Johnson says we can all learn a thing or two from the senator. Herb Cole was a man who wanted to do good. It doesn't cost anything to be kind. It doesn't cost anything to be a good person. And if everybody just did that, 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 that simple gesture, then we would continue to be a better, a stronger uh, community for everybody. It doesn't cost anything to be a good person. It doesn't cost anything to be a good person. Tonight, we remember and honor the legacy and life of Herb Cole, who was 88 years old. Megan Lee live along Herb Cole Way in downtown Milwaukee tonight. Megan, thank you. Reaction rolling in tonight on Senator Cole's passing the bucks put out this statement saying he leaves behind an unmatched legacy and that the team is planning a memorial to honor him in the coming weeks. And here's a live look at the home bridge in Milwaukee, the landmark shining in Bucks Green in honor of Senator Cole. The last time TMJ4 News talked to him was back in 2021. He attended the NBA Finals when the Bucks won the title. He sold the team in 2014, but the new owners let him lead the championship parade celebration. Unbelievable. Unbelievable day. Great day for Milwaukee. Cole was perhaps best known as former owner of the Bucks and as a U.S. Senator, but it's clear that the impact of his charitable work is also felt by many. Ever since the Herb Cole Foundation was established back in 1990. Tonight, a look back at that impact. We have to educate our people 
to, re to assume the responsibilities of citizenship as adults. That's Herb Cole at a 2019 event for his foundation. We need outstanding teachers, we need outstanding principals, and we need students and their families in order to ensure that we turn out well-informed, well-educated people that can take their place in our society. And teachers we've talked to over the years say Cole was a man who didn't just talk the talk. It's really inspiring to see that there's people who care out there and are willing to support teachers and the scholars of Milwaukee. The Herb Cole Foundation sharing tonight that over the 33 years that the foundation has been up and running, $34 million in grants and scholarships have gone to Wisconsin students, teachers, and schools. Students like Anya Ramos, who TMJ4 News talked to in 2021 after she received a scholarship. This scholarship is just going to help me so much through like study abroad programming because I really want to expand my cultural knowledge. It's one one thing to like read in a book about like how different cultures are but like to have that experience and to have like that opportunity of like getting money to actually travel is just so amazing and I just couldn't be happier. Cole's philanthropic work also shows up in his commitment to facilities, stepping forward with a $25 million gift in 1995 to help fund a sports facility that still bears his name at UW-Madison. And in 2016, policymaking took center stage again, this time when Cole established the Herb Cole Public Service Research Competition, empowering educators and students to conduct research on topics like childhood poverty, solar energy, water quality, and opioid prescriptions. Just a few reminders of the good work done by a man respected by so many. And tonight, the Herb Cole Foundation releasing a statement saying in part that his values will live on through his foundation going forward. The state superintendent remembering Senator Cole's work in education also sharing a statement, quote, at every event I ever attended with him, he took time to meet every kid and parent and to thank every teacher and principal. Governor Tony Evers called Cole a Milwaukeean and Wisconsinite through and through and said Cole dedicated his life to serving our kids, our communities, our state, and our country. Our coverage continues on TMJ4.com and in the TMJ4 News app. You can use your phone to scan this QR code right here on your screen. Our digital team has more reaction to Senator Cole's passing, details on his life and his lasting legacy.